Hi everyone, welcome to ERL 590, Writing and the Teaching of Writing. I'm Dave Boardman, it is spring 2020, I am so glad you're here and I am really glad to get started. So, this is a course about writing, about helping our students become better writers, no matter what content area we're teaching, and about exploring the research behind writing instruction, assessment, um, remediation, just about anything, about a uh, profession of teachers and looking at how we view writing and writing professional development, and especially writing ourselves. Uh, the National Writing Project years ago had grew out of the philosophy that the best teachers of writing are often teachers who write themselves. And so we ask you in this course to take on some writing, to do some experimenting, to try out the same things we ask our students to try out, and to struggle with some of those same things. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, enjoy the challenge and the freedom and um, everything about it. Let's jump in. Let's start exploring what we'll be doing and where we'll be doing it. Okay, so if you have used Moodle before, um, and you're feeling totally great about everything in it, you can probably skip a video that I'll put up here shortly, but it'll be a tour of Moodle and just some basics of how things work. So if you haven't used Moodle before, <clears throat> um, please watch that, spend some time with it, and definitely ask some questions. Um, I don't want anyone to be lost in the interface of Moodle. So um, hopefully this will work out okay. I'll be posting uh, things in the news forum. Please ask questions in the questions forum. Don't, don't go without having uh, asked a few questions as you get rolling. Um, and we start off today with topic one. The first topic, there are about 15 in this course, but the first topic looks at what writing looks like today in schools. Um, you all bring to the conversation a lot of your own experience, both as students and as educators. And um, I ask you to look at, to read, four key policy statements from our industry's top organizations, uh, the National Council of Teachers of English and the International Literacy Association. Uh, they've looked at research, um, behind writing instruction, writing professional development, what it means for students to be able to write in school, and what it means for teachers to be able to teach writing in school, and have developed some, some guidelines that are definitely worth reading. You may find they mirror what you're already doing, the resources you have available, and the experience of your students, or you may find stark contradictions. And that's what I want you to explore in this first blog post, or not blog post, sorry, but this first conversation we'll have called What We Believe. Um, when, you, uh, when you open the course um, and you open a week topic, um, you'll find everything you need for the week in that week one assignments in this case, and I just opened that right here. Um, <clears throat> In this, each week, I'll lay out just what is required for the week. I'll give you any pointers that I can. Um, I'll give you links. And I'll make, as I do this week, a pretty key distinction between reading and browsing. There are four things that I want you to read. And those, you know, truly read them. Print them if it's helpful, highlight it, whatever you want to do. Um, but I may give you, in the course of a week, up to 20 other links to browse. And I might say, read, watch, browse. And these aren't links that I expect you to sit down and read every single post or spend an hour looking at contributions by students. These are meant to uh, help you explore things. So browse as you find helpful. Um, if you see something cool, definitely check it out. If you look through and think, wow, there's absolutely nothing here that pertains to what I'm 
interested in or what I'm going to do, then that's great. Just move right along. Okay? So please don't ever find yourself overwhelmed by links. Um, and I kind of spell that out here in this a little bit. Uh, this first forum, um, I ask you to start off by posting really a casual essay, by really looking over these links, considering your own classroom, and break away and spend a little bit of time writing before you enter this first forum. Um, sometimes in courses, there may be a forum and someone might, you know, open it up and make a really quick post, essentially a five minute uh, quick thoughts without really doing the background. And they might pop back into the course three or four times in the week with real quick um, comments like, wow, nice idea, or I totally agree. Um, and that's not what this is about. If you think about a graduate course like this, imagine being in an Orno, and we'd be in a conference room, kind of 10 or 12 of us around a big table, and we'd pretty much be there for a three-hour course. Uh, you'd have some time to look over some things. We'd be having a conversation, and you'd, there'd be that natural give and take from the conversation. Um, so that's, that's what I'm asking for in forums like this. Um, spend a little time prepping, do put some thoughts together, but then after you've made that initial venture into the forum, keep coming back, keep offering more ideas, comment on people, comment on their comments about your work, make it a, a real give and take. It can be real casual, um, you'll learn a lot from each other. And that's really the beauty to me of an online course. Please read comments about your work and about what you've posted. Um, really, a lot of the teaching comes through my comments to you about what you're doing. It also comes through this professional kind of sharing as a group of educators around this virtual roundtable. So, Stay engaged in these conversations, please, and stick with it, because I think you'll find that these conversations can get really rich, and the week may close out, and often um, people may feel like, wow, this conversation could keep going uh, were it not for something new to be working on. That's, to me, the joy of really good online courses. <clears throat> I've posted a number of other links, as I mentioned, for you to take a look at. And they're things from, you know, just I'm really part of a cool, lost generation and our uh, YouTube video that's like the sample of it's more important writing than family. to uh, online galleries of um, student writing that's mixed in with art and other things, and definitely things to to check out. Uh, as I mentioned, this course is as much about um, writing instruction as it is about giving you opportunities or helping you find opportunities to write yourself. And so, <coughs> excuse me, um, one of the ongoing tasks each week is called the weekly write. And it's meant to be roughly a half hour of you writing something um, experimenting. It could be a week to try out poetry. It could be a week to try out a piece of writing you're going to ask your students to take on. Um, it could be a piece of writing that you've really wanted to do for a long time. And um, maybe it comes in short bursts that, that take place. So each week, find a half hour to work on some piece of writing. Um, I'll ask you to share those. And I'll set up a forum for that a little bit later. Uh, let's see. The other... Hang on. Sorry. Um, oh, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, you'll notice in the syllabus, which will be posted right up here, that the second and third, fourth... Uh, pages are ideas for texts for this course. Rather than give an assigned text, I'm asking you to select two books or two texts that you haven't read before, somehow about writing or writing instruction. And I've given about several pages of ideas. Um, 
I haven't read each and every one of them. I've read quite a few of them. Um, I've read a number of the authors here, and uh, I think the ones that I've given are either ones that, well, they're either ones I have read or that students have read and really loved, and so we added them to the list. One of those books, I will ask you to lead us in a writing conversation uh, later on in the course. It's not a book report, but kind of a conversation around a book. So as you're making picks, pick one that you think may become kind of the genesis for an online conversation. It might be something like um, Writing Strategies, a uh, great book by Jennifer Cerevello. Um, and maybe you will ask us to take on several of these strategies with our own students during that week and then talk about them online, share some artifacts, that sort of thing. So there are lots of possibilities, lots of things we can do with this. Um, but keep that in mind. And reading, you know, I'm not assigning pages. Um, it's two books, and so find things that are helpful to you. Uh, please don't reread books you've already read for other courses, um, but please find something that you wanted to read. Maybe it's an author you haven't read um, everything by before and you want to grab one more from them. Maybe it's someone totally new. If you have an interest in something but you don't quite know which text might be helpful, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I'll also create a forum online here that'll say the Student Lounge, and that's a place where you can post things that other students can take a look at as well. All right, so I think that's probably a pretty good overview for the first week. Um, please, 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 if you have any questions, post them to the forum. I am online working on this course probably four times a day and like every day. So I answer questions pretty quickly. If by chance I miss yours or I didn't get to it, um, please drop me an email or text. Uh, my phone number's in the syllabus. Or, um, you know, send me um, a message through Moodle's Messenger. You'll see messages right up here in this icon. Um, so if I send you a message, uh, maybe I've commented on your work, maybe I've asked you a question about something, you'll see it right up here. And you can also send each other messages. So if there's someone you want to talk to more outside of the forum, you can just go right to messages and send people messages. All right. Um, I'm losing my voice a little bit, but I'm, so I'm going to break here and um, I will see you in the course. Any questions at all, please drop me a line. I'm so psyched to get started. I hope you are too. I hope you've got a nice warm place to be and I will see you in the course.